Hey everyone, this is Megami Tsubasa and I am with Brittany, Toothless and Loki for this video. I'm so sorry for the weird lighting. I always have weird lighting but I'm working on my new lights. I don't know how to use them that much and it's not much of a light. It's not a lighting lighting. But anyway, let's proceed to this month's Decide of You of My Favorite Things. In the middle of October, I came across a video here on YouTube about cruelty-free cosmetics issues. After I watched that video, I decided myself to be cruelty-free too. So after I watched that video, I did not buy any products or companies that are supporting cruelty to animals. Then I looked through the list of products and companies that are not supporting cruelty free I've noticed that almost all of my products are supporting cruelty but anyways I'm going to finish them all up but I am not buying any more of those products but in this video I will still be mentioning those that support um, cruelty to animals Ouch. because I purchased them before I've seen the video but honestly I like the products that I bought so I'm still going to use them up but I won't be repurchasing them again first is the Bioderma it says bio but it does not mean it's cruelty free but <laughs> I don't know if I can find anything like this but this is the Bioderma everybody knows about Bioderma it is a cleansing it cleanses, removes makeup, and soothes. For the meantime, I mean, it, it, this is gonna going to last me long because I'm not wearing makeup every day. I use this to remove my makeup, especially when I have those kind of makeup that are sort of avant-garde and I don't want to scare people in this house that I look like not normal. But in some cases, when I wash my face first, when I have the, just an everyday makeup, uh, I sometimes tend to use this after I wash my face because some of some some makeup are still there, and I want to really, really, really clean those times that I don't use my Clarisonic because I don't know, I just don't feel like using my Clarisonic every day. This has been a great help for me to maintain my skin because I don't have much. Um, pimples as compared to before and I don't use acne or pimple stuff on my face anymore so I just use a plain moisturizer and that's all cleanse and moisturize that's all next is my Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation and I am in the shade 4.25 I'm so sad I have to let go of this one. This is my very first and last product from Giorgio Armani because they support cruelty to animals and they test their products on animals but this should have been my holy grail foundation but at first when I tried this I was amazed on how smooth it glides onto my skin and everything but this I didn't expect its performance to be that way because when me and my hub hub went out the driver was not available so he, isn't, he wasn't able to pick us up here at home uh, then I we have to go outside and wait for a cab we, we did not just wait outside our house so we walked a couple of maybe a block maybe a block or two to get a cab so I am under the heat of the sun for about an hour <laughs> maybe that was that was an hour outside and I was regretting that I did not wear my Revlon 24 hour because I would prob probably use that because I have to be under the sun and 24 hours claim is maybe a helpful stuff but I just wear this one and this is kind of sheer uh, I mean everybody says it's medium to buildable but I don't want to 
wanted to build the ball and I don't think for me it's a medium coverage it's for me I think it's a light coverage it's like a tinted moisturizer almost I, we still pursued going to the mall after a one hour uh, wait for the cab then we strolled in, uh, at the mall then when we went home I checked myself and it is there it is still there it did not bulge bulge on my space so next is this one this is a body shop lip balm called born libby in strawberry i first saw this when i was in college when my other classmate was using this and she was like applying it on her lips then I was looking at her because I was an odd person <laughs> and she said and I and I applied it to my lips and I was like when can I have that one? It, this was expensive, really really expensive for me when I was in college because I don't have money. I brought lunch with me. I don't have a single penny. Today I am now 26. This is the first time that I have this one. But I have the lip butter when my mom bought me a few years ago but this is the one I'm gravitating at and this time I have it and I really love it but Body Shop is now owned by L'Oreal so I decided that if I'm going to be cruelty free I will not support those who are really testing their products on the animals but Body Shop does not claim to test their animals their products on the animals but they are working with L'Oreal so I think I'm still be with the body shop because they do not test I mean their profit still goes to L'Oreal I guess I don't know but these are incredible products I think body shop are <gasps> incredible products so I'm still deciding on totally boycotting L'Oreal but this it's great. I am abusing using it and smelling it. Next is this brush. This is from Wet n Wild and this comes with the gel liner. But I do not like using this with the gel liner because I think the brush is just too thick for me. I mean, I, I don't think it will work on me. I don't know. but. I found a better use for this because this is a good brush this is a solid brush and it is quite heavy for its size and for me I guess I am very small girl so I am using this for my eyebrows I am using this for my eyebrows and this works really well I guess because brows are important for me I can wear just foundation and brows and not anything else and I'm good but this is a staple for me and it's so small I can bring this anywhere I mean I don't touch up my brows so when I travel this comes in handy next is this one this is the NARS Yachio brush and I have a self debate when I when I am deciding to get this because these are freaking expensive especially this one is the, the this one because I did not buy it on the NARS online store because I don't have a credit card so I have to buy this in ways that I only can when I first buy this I of course because of its price I have to research on if I need me really need this or not some people say it is not worth the hype it is worth the hype for me no I don't think this is worth worth the hype and worth the price also but there are also negative uh, comments about this because it sheds the there are splinters when continued when used continuously there are splinters coming out and because it is wooden I think wooden this is a plastic stuff inside but I really maybe try to convince myself that I really need this one 
and one of my favorite makeup artists and gurus here on YouTube, Wayne Goss, mentioned this in one of his videos that this is one of his favorite brushes so Wayne Goss said it, go for it. Then I bought it. This is worth 290 rials so I I put the conversion here and it is freaking expensive freaking 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 expensive why I like this because I need this brush for my face I bought this mainly for blush because I am not a blush girl but still I want to use blush but there are just brushes which are not perfect for me NARS made this for their really pigmented uh, brushes, uh, blushes so why not and the shedding part i don't know there's there, there, there are some there are some who said this sheds others don't but for me maybe it was of luck that i got a brush that does not shed i don't know how to describe myself when i saw that there was a dupe for this i mean the not original ones that are almost the same but you know I am going to pay a price that is much, much expensive than the original price of this one in the NARS store. And I, I bought this on an online store here in Qatar that I am not really, really sure about. So I was, <laughs> maybe they will give me a dupe one. I am, I do not like, I, I mean, I, I like to use dupes because they are not as expensive as the real ones. But I paid a more than a full price for this and they will give me a dupe but let's see. I did not receive a dupe one, I received an original one. So with the splinter issues with this, I came very smart with this and when I bought this, I did not use this immediately. I waited until I, I bought I can buy a a The one that is used to on polymer clays that you place them on the polymer polymer clays to protect them from harm scratches and all and I painted the, the the wand all over so that when I wash this these splinters won't be poking out and I was so happy with that idea because I told I told the brush <laughs> you can't outsmart me but but now I I should have waited for the Etched House nail polish because that was the nail polish from Etched House. That was the one I was using for my polymer base back in the Philippines. That nail polish was so much better than this one. It has white films in this in here already. This is 290 reals. This is my most expensive brush by the way. I really really do like this. This is a hype for me but not for everybody because not everybody likes this. Do I recommend this to everyone? I think no. But I recommend this to those who are like me who are not blush wearers and who likes very very light application because this is made for it, for very light application. And I also use this for powder and I do it like this. Some say it's scratchy, but I think it's not. I don't think I got the scratchy brush. But yeah, so if you want to get this and you live somewhere here in Qatar, I'll have the link below. They have the Instagram. And I ordered through their site and they delivered it at home. That is so amazing here in Qatar. They deliver your products on your doorstep. I mean, I, we don't have that in the Philippines. For my caps this month, I only have one which is these brown envelopes. In the packaging, it says Manila envelopes. This is a 7.5 by 5 inches, uh, and I used and I used this for my craft stuff. Uh, I tear up the sides and print some things on here, especially on the rough side. I like the rough side because it is just so vintage so artsy and so much different I guess I mean you can buy colored papers colored papers with that, that, that has the same colors with this one but I really like the legit ones I even use the ones with the ridges here the ones with the cut 
because I just like its randomness. So yeah, this is for my crafts and I haven't been crafting that much again. Now for my food category, it does not mean that something I could chew, but it also something that I can drink or basically I can devour. So this month, I tried my very, very first pumpkin spice latte. It was so amazing. I am pushing my husband to let me try it because everybody speaks about pumpkin spice latte. I mean, I don't usually go with what everyone else says. I usually go what everyone else do not want to talk about. I mean, when others wear crop tops, I don't wear crop tops. When everybody wears caps, I don't wear caps. Uh, or when everybody wears cardigan, I still wear cardigan, but I don't want cardigans that are so like everybody. I mean, I have my cardigans or my stuff has to be something of its character. I'm going away from my topic. So, pumpkin spice latte. Because my husband don't want me to drink from Starbucks anymore because he read a, an article about Starbucks and how unhealthy they are. I mean, I did not read it, but he said it. He is a nurse, so <laughs> I'm going to go with it. But I really want my pumpkin spice latte. So he treated me with a pumpkin spice latte. It was so delicious. At first, when I said when I had my first cup, I'm, I said to myself, I'm going to drink more. Then on the next few days, I drink again, and I said, I'm done. I'm done with my pumpkin spice latte. But the next time I we went to the mall, I we went to Starbucks, so I ordered pumpkin spice latte. Random product. This is my MacBook. This helped me so much in my existence because everything goes in here. Every pictures, every videos, communication is everything here in my laptop. My laptop has been a really, really helpful body with me for all these years and I have this for about two or almost three years already and it has not failed me. And this works still really, really fast and I have convinced my husband to buy his own too. Exactly like mine, the MacBook Pro 13 inches. And my father bought me this. And my second random favorite for this month is still the No, the, the cover. I mean, the cover is really, really cool. I am finding a cover that is a velvet type, a velvet type, but at the moment when I bought this, there was none. So this is in the color pool. It's like an aquamarine color. It is just so cool to the eyes. It's so refreshing, it's so calming. And this is from Spec. Not sponsored. Can I just get a hallelujah chorus on my next item? Samsonite bag. When I saw this, I just completely, completely head over heels on this one because this is just so cool. This is so chic. This is so elegant. This comes with black and black. This comes with the beige and the brown with a gold nameplate. The other one comes with a black and a black and a gold nameplate. But I chose this one because, I don't know, this just looks so chic and so me. And yeah. This would be my makeup bag, especially when I travel. So it comes with a mirror. See my nose? A zipper here, which maybe wipes or cotton buds or Q-tip. Then there is a pouch fish here, which I also like because in the plane, if you have the bag, the, the ordinary bag of makeup bags that are like those, which cannot stand by itself. Uh, it's just so hard. And this one has a flat base, so I can place it like this flat, and I can browse through my stuff here. And even the tassel-ish, because it's not tassel, it's like, it's like just tassel-ish. It's just so solid, it's so chic, and I like it very much. And there are Samsonite logo all over. 
just so legit because everybody is in the Samsonite store. And it is so amazing, so amazing. So, this is just simply, simply amazing. So, I keep hearing this song during this month, and this has really caught my attention and my hub hub introduced it to me. This is by Brian Adams called One Night Love Affair. Brian's, Brian's first name basis is just so um, different, you know. You will be able to know that it is Brian Adams singing at the moment you hear the first syllable. syllable. The first words, or at least the first phrase. Me and my husband also search the, uh, the YouTube. <laughs> me and my husband search videos on YouTube on the covers, and it just makes me appreciate more on how high Brian's uh, voice is when he sang the "Everything I Do." That was way before I can remember. This kind of the same until now. I mean, some singers would just fade out their voices just fade out or just uh, uh, it does not retain its uh, timber <laughs> I'm not an, ex an expert but I can hear too you know until now his voice I mean he's, he does not look like way before and still I for me he sounded the same uh, I think it is a good um, side of a singer who can take care of his or her voice until he can sing. This song One Night Love Affair is my second favorite from his song because everything I do is just so amazing. It is. You know I've seen that song in a Christly way because I've seen a video before, years before about they incorporated that song with the movie Passion of the Christ. I mean, someone maybe on YouTube made that up and it was so different from what I perceived it to be before. I've seen that video, so uh, it's like it matches. So it matches perfectly the song and the life of Christ. So it is not just a love song. I mean, it's a love song for the greatest love giver. I mean, who would be nailed to a cross and be crucified for the sake of everybody. So that would be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and hope you stay tuned for more of my videos although I am not keeping up to my schedule and this video is late already. But then again, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you soon on my next. supporting that cruelty free uh, issue uh, as I read through the products products <laughs>